Hello. This is Patrick, and this is Patrick's name. So I'm making this video upon the request of an internet friend of mine. And if you want to complain, you can find her on Twitter at Rocket Jazz. That's J A Z one Z. So Jasmine, this is really for you. And uh the kind of backstory was I had talked about one of my physical therapy exercises, which was to move my kneecap back and forth um, to keep it from sticking. So uh, she requested I make a video of that because it sounded kind of ooey. So since I'm videotaping my knee, I guess I can give uh, a little bit of background onto the whole thing. As you can see, this, I think, my scar runs from right here all the way down to right about there and what happened was I had ripped the patella tendon under the kneecap so when the injury happened the, tel the tendon split causing my kneecap to kind of fly up here into my thigh and the rest of my tendon to kind of flop down here and uh, the procedure um, there was a couple of choices based on the damage to my tendon. One was to get cadaver pieces to reconnect the tendon. Um, but they didn't need to do that, which I'm kind of sad. I was hoping to have kind of a zombification vent, uh, tendon going on. But it was not to be. They were able to actually take the tendon that was left and pull it up and repair it uh, directly. So basically what they did was they opened up my knee and they put sutures around the tendon that was ripped down here after they had kind of shaved it down a little bit to make it nice and pliable or even whatever they did they sutured the top and there was four suture lines that came up then they drilled three holes into my um, kneecap up the uh, the length of the kneecap and then they took two sutures, I believe, through the outside holes, ran them up through the holes to the top of my kneecap, and then they took two of the suture lines and ran them up the middle. When they were both out the top of the holes, they tied and tied and tied and tied, secured them, basically kind of anchoring the top, uh, the sutures to the top of my kneecap and pulling this, the tendon up to the bottom of my kneecap and then everything was scar over here and everything was scar over here and that's uh, essentially how the healing is done this happened uh, uh, almost two months ago so I'm in the therapy process right now but uh, because I'm limited in what I can do with my knee it's not very resistant therapy it's all kind of bending it massaging it a little bit and uh, just trying to get the knee to be flexible again and strengthening my knee, uh, my leg up here uh, by the thigh and the hip and down in the calf uh, trying to strengthen the hamstring as well because basically I haven't really been able to do too much except walk around a little bit and but mostly I've been laying in bed so the, the leg muscles tend to kind of get weak because of that so um, right now my exercises tend to kind of uh, geared towards strengthening my leg, doing leg lifts um, with my with my strap to do kind of hamstring pulls. Um, I have something called a gas pedal where I put a strap around my foot, does resistance, and then just press down a few times. Plus, I do just a little bit of bending of my knee. Right now, I'm allowed to do about a 60% angle, and this weekend I can move to 75%, which is almost where your knee would be if you were sitting straight up. Um, 90 degrees would be the angle I'm, I'm aiming for before I go back to the surgeon in mid-November. So now that you've got the background story, um, I guess I can start showing uh, the pong of my kneecap. So again, here's the scar running right along here, if you can see it. It's a nice little red scar. Hey, hey, scar. And... Um, Basically, what this does, this doesn't have anything to do with strengthening or flexibility, really. What um, I was told can possibly happen is that the uh, kneecap, if it's uh, stationary, tends to uh, fuse to the bone underneath. 
So this is really a way to not only kind of loosen up scar tissue, but to keep the kneecap from kind of gluing on to the bones underneath. So basically what I have to do, my kneecap is right here. You see some bumps here, that's like scar, kind of scarring tissue and swelling a little bit. My kneecap's right here and uh, still feels a little bit funny to touch it and everything because it's all still healing. But anyway, so I take my hands on each side of the kneecap, kind of like uh, palm controllers, that's what I call it, and then I just kind of move it back and forth like that. And I have to do this three times a day, and I move the knee 30 times, which I'm probably not going to do for the video, but that's basically what I'm doing. Just moving it back and forth. Ta-da! And uh, another friend of mine on Twitter kind of compared me doing that to touching his eyeball, which uh, I'm getting used to it, but I kind of agree with that assessment when I was told I had to like kind of move the bone around. It's like, ugh. And I got, also got a new um, thing to do in my last therapy session, so this is a timely video. This is uh, kind of my crappy skin therapy skin cream lotion. I have to get better ones. Maybe I'll get some Avon. But anyway, um, I have to break up the scar tissue underneath the kneecap. That's one of the things that keeps my uh, my knee from bending. If you think of it like a... Uh, um, my therapist says, think of it as like a new credit card, how it's like kind of unflexible when you first get it. And you have to kind of bend it and bend it and bend it to break it in. My knee is kind of like that. I have to start working it and flexing it to get it to bend again. So, I take this cream. Doo, 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 doo. I'm only going to do a little bit. <clears throat> because normally I would do this after all my exercises. Isn't that pretty? So what this is going to do, it's going to um, help me break up the um, scar tissue underneath. And basically what I do is I have to go perpendicular to the scar with my thumb or my fingers crossed like this. And this does not feel all that great. And um, so I'm not really doing it too hard right now, but the idea is to just kind of get in there, press, 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 and uh, rub the lotion in. And what will happen is the, the scar will actually start to get puffy. And uh, that's a good indication that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. So, and yes, this is a towel here. And the towel is here. Um, I thought it would contrast my leg against the black comforter a little bit better. But also, um, I can't pull my leg into the shower yet because I have a sliding door shower instead of a curtain shower. So what I have to do is I step into the shower with my good leg over here, and I have to leave this head leg kind of hanging out So, um, and with the brace on. So what ends up happening is I come back into my room, I have the towel out, I can put my leg down in the towel without getting my bed all wet, and then I can I take a hair dryer and kind of blow everything dry and have to dry off my Borg-like brace. And that, my friends, is the story of my knee and some of my physical therapy. Until next time, bye.